Friday, McVay, and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. So we have two quick Get Smart projects today. First one is from Gabriel217, who wrote a screenplay, like a little drama. So a play uh, is a performance. So instead of it just being a book that you read, you get on the stage, and people have different parts. And what you'll see in a play before each of the sentences or the paragraphs, you'll see a name. You might say narrator. That's the person who is uh, <clears throat> telling you about what the setting is or what's happening or what happened in between the time uh, stamps on the script. But it will also say the names of the characters, and that will be the line or the thing that the character says. So, Gabriel wrote, wrote, well done. We also have a math book written by Valora Guthrie. Valora, this is awesome. This is what I've been talking about. Valora wrote out her times tables, the twos, the threes, the fours. And then inside, she also has written several different Fun facts about each of the operations, for example, division, multiplication. Uh, so, for example, when you multiply, numbers increase. When you divide, numbers decrease. Uh, <clears throat> dividing by zero, multiplying by zero. All of those sorts of fun facts about multiplication and division. Nice work for Laura. Now, <clears throat> we talked last week about a holiday that people who are Jewish celebrate. So many of our boys and girls will be celebrating a holiday, actually the day after tomorrow, called Christmas. And Christmas is a day that in Christian religions is very important. So if you are a Christian, you believe that on that day, there was a very important person born and you celebrate that birth. So many of you are going to be celebrating that holiday, and we want to say Merry Christmas. And for those boys and girls who are going to be finishing out celebrating Hanukkah, we want to again say Happy Hanukkah. And to everybody that will be celebrating the New Year while we're gone, we want to say Happy New Year to all of you. When we come back, we will also have a Chinese New Year to talk about. All right. Now, getting to our... Wordle. So the Wordle this week, now we know uh, lots of clues, but that this continent here is the same and that this prefix and this word are synonyms. Oh, what are you? So what do we have? Uni means one. And so this word, if you said united, you're correct. When you are united, you act as one. So the 50 states are united, so we act as one country. Uni means one. And so when we get back from the break, the mystery number, I'm sorry, the wordle is going to change a little bit. We're going to be visiting some places around the world and I'll be giving some clues each day about the letters but also about the places that we'll be visiting and maybe you'll be able to look in the hallway at our culture corridor and make some connections because together we are united and we are one but we also are each one that make up part of our bigger group and we'd like to honor all of those things the way that we celebrate all holidays and all people. So we're going to be doing some visiting and learning about each other, even more than we've done already. Now, our mystery number, so we knew this was a one, and we knew that this number is even, that it has two additional homonyms, so we have the number plus two more. And I said this number is two times or twice the other option. So the two options would be two, because these both have two homonyms. We have four, four, and four. And then we have two, two, 
and two, three. Okay, well, which one of these numbers is twice the size of the other? Yeah, if you said four, you're right. Two plus two or two times two equals four. Therefore, four is twice two. So many of you got that and good work. Now it's time for our money kind of moment. There we get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So our money kind of moment today is a shout out to Gabriel. Uh, so Ms. Checo submitted a money kind of moment because Gabriel recently gave up his own time and helped out somebody in the library uh, just because uh, he opted to be kind. And out over the break, my friends, he will have many opportunities to just be kind. So we hope that you take them. We also hope that you do something to grow your mighty mind and that when you get back, you share it. Because every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day and a wonderful vacation.